Welcome to The Homemade Mother. My name is Jasmine and this is my channel. Welcome back everybody. We are still doing our trial and errors and we are still on pancake mix. I hope you're not sick of pancakes yet. Let's jump right in and start making some pancakes. For this one, I'm gonna introduce you guys to a new brand that I have yet to actually do a video of. Um, this is actually one of the first gluten-free brands that I ever found out about. I didn't know they made mixes. <laughs> I know they make products, but I found this mix and I thought, you know what, that sounds great. Kanikanik, I believe is how you say it, <laughs> is actually a really good brand. They make really delicious graham crackers and a few other things. I'm a fan, I, I like them. So I really hope that this pancake mix turns out. Let's make this baby. So for this mix, it actually says you only need a cup of the mix itself. So basically what I'm hearing is that this mix could last you a few weekends of making pancakes, which is always nice. We need a cup of the mix, one egg, one tablespoon of oil, three quarter cup of cold water. They were very specific in telling me that it needed to be cold. I'm gonna follow their rules and hopefully it turns out. All right, so we got one cup of our mix. It smells pretty good already, so always promising. And this mix says that it makes six to eight pancakes. Now, of course, the size always differs, but that's what it says. Okay, so the next thing it says to do is to mix all of our wet ingredients together. So I'm gonna add my one tablespoon of oil, one egg, and our three quarter cup of cold water. Now I'm gonna whisk these all together. It says to slowly add it into our dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna turn the mixer on and pour a little bit at a time. So this mix says to add a fourth cup to your grill and flip it when the edges start to turn up and the top starts to bubble. So now it says to pull out your griddle and get cooking. All right. The pancakes are done and oh my goodness, did these guys bubble. But of course, it really doesn't matter how well they cooked unless they taste great. So let's find out. That is a pancake. So let's rate this. As far as easiness goes, it wasn't complicated, but it did have a few steps that were a little bit more specific. I followed them exactly and I have no idea what would have happened had I not. So I'm gonna go with a seven out of 10. It wasn't hard to make, not at all. In fact, the, the whole cooking process, super simple. So easy to tell when the, they were done. But the having to add all of the ingredients in and making sure that the water was cold made it just a little bit more complicated. As far as ingredients I had to add in, I would give it an eight out of 10. Not hard, but having to remember to put cold water in makes it a little bit more of a thing than just putting regular water, if you know what I mean. Now, as far as ingredients found in this mix, I would give it a seven out of 10. Pretty good ingredients. I mean, it's a pancake mix, so I don't expect it to be 100% healthy. So I appreciate that they make it so that I can read every single ingredient on the list. I don't have to be like, um, what is that? <laughs> I actually know what all of them are. So for me, that's a pretty good thing. They're not the best ingredients possible, but it's a pancake mix. So like uh, seven out of 10, okay. Now, as far as texture goes, oh my gosh, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Like this is what I want a pancake to feel like. This is what I want it, the texture to be. There's no graininess. It's fluffy and it's light and it's, everything I want in the kind of pancake texture. It also 
was a great texture when it came to actual the actual batter. It was nice and smooth and like it it was just good. It was good texture. I liked it. 10 out of 10. Flavor, 10 out of 10. Like honestly, maybe a little biased. I don't know. But this is the flavor that I'm looking for when it comes to pancakes. I could eat that pancake totally by itself and think it's delicious. Whereas not every pancake I've tried has been like that. There have definitely been pancakes where I'm like, you cannot eat this without toppings. Like you can't have it without syrup, something to make it better. Whereas this is just perfect on its own. It does not need anything else at all. Overall, I'd give it an eight out of 10. It was easy to make, it tasted great, the texture was amazing. Cooking it was so simple and like really obvious. This will probably be bought again in my house. Not all the time, obviously. We're not huge mix people. But if I'm gonna buy a mix, it's gonna be this one. If we're going camping and we want pancakes, it's gonna be this one. Out of all the pancakes that we've tried, this is my number one. I mean, maybe next week's will be better, who knows? But I like this one the most so far. That is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed following along and seeing my second pancake mix. Stay tuned for the next video that will come out with our final pancake mix. It's the very last one in our trial and error series and I'm excited to end this series and move on to something new. So stay tuned. That's it, ta-ta for now.